the eternal well of Huergelmir. There, it is said, lies the power to begin Ragnarok, the end of all worlds. The path to the eternal well can only be opened from the Moonhenge which lies beyond the barrows, upon the plain of souls. It is a desperate plan, creeping past Grimnir's frost giant allies, while they are distracted by Arturus' counterattack. For Albion and the Vanir are the king! <laughs> A good day to die. So let's help as many giants as we can to do so. Did I agree to this man? isn't the way Earth in what I mean, though. But I just can't leave it unexplored. They say you're a 
fool to cross lands marked with The barrow gate must be inside this cave. Who's there? Are you friend or foe? Nah, sure that's no friend. What the hell is that thing?
all the vermin destroyed. Grimnir, there is blood feud between us, and I will have your head. Oh, still you pester me. But no matter. It is far too late to stop me now. At last, the gate to the eternal well is open. Finish this pest. My destiny awaits beneath the great ice. Shall we kill it? That's what the boss says, you idiot. Christian. 
Grimnir had awakened the Moonhenge, but with its destruction, the path towards the Eternal Well had been closed behind him. But my visions had not changed. The end of all worlds loomed large, yet I still saw the fulfillment of the Ulfung's destiny in the flow of time. The Ulfung brought the runestones from the rubble of the Moonhenge back to their village hoping beyond hope that it might yet open the path onward to them. Somehow, there was still hope. Hey, Runesmith. I brought you this hunk of rock. Can we use it? It has seen better days, but mayhap I can inscribe some of the runes upon our own portal. Father, beware. This is not the full inscription from the Moonhenge. It may have unforeseen effects in this form. Aye, sure enough. Let me listen to what the runes are singing. Oh, of course. That's what my day was missing. Singing runes! Balheim. Balheim. The realm of fire giants. The seeress warns that Grimnir seeks to ally with them too, which would surely doom us all. Also, it is said that the forges of Balheim are potent beyond a mortal's wildest imagining. Well, we already have quite enough doom, that's for sure. But we need stronger weapons. It's worth a visit, I say. I shall prepare the portal, my chieftain. Good hunting. She's ready to take you where you want.
buy, selling, as long as gold changes hands. I am happy. Good to see you. The prophecy that Surt could not be defeated in battle empowered the fire giants to acquire what the people of the South might call a civilization. With the leader of the fire giants spurning Simul's advances, Grimnir was even more intent that his own emissary would secure their loyalty. Although the chances were slight that the Ulfung could disrupt this alliance, it was worth the attempt. Besides, However the politics might resolve, the fabled lava forges of Balheim are a prize any mortal might seek to capture. So, this is Balheim. It's a bit of hot for my tastes. Presume. I am his warden. Our leader has no time to meet with the likes of you. You must not ally with Grimnir. He cannot be trusted, and he will bring doom upon us all. Who are you to judge in this matter? I am the War Wolf, the chieftain of the Ulfung. And I have seen Grimnir's treachery with my own eyes. Your clan is insignificant to us, and you are too late. The alliance with Grimnir is already agreed. Guards! Guards! Arrest this tiny creature, or slay it if it resists. So much for politics. Resistance is... Prepare for death. 
Ominous. This is usually when the heavies come out to play. I thought we were supposed to fight something dangerous. Oh, hi, there it is. Over there. That? It's tiny. Where's that challenge in that? It killed a warden. Watch yourself. I suppose I should have known better than to trust the Warwolf to engage in diplomacy. Grimnir now had the support of all the Giants. An unprecedented alliance, an unstoppable force. Even with one of Sindri's hammers in their possession, what hope had the Wolves of Midgard now? No, it cannot be. As if our fortunes had not proved barren enough, now the fates have unfurled their final banner. Sirius, what do you see? The Roman and bishops remain resolute in their desire to bring both Albion and the Viking clans under imperial rule. The Bishop of Skye has besieged the castle at Caerleon with all his remaining troops. Alas, that is not our only worry. My mother reports that the Dwergar are on the move. They, too, are heading for Albion. Will Grindel aid us against Simul and her allies? She has no love for her neighbors, the Etin. 
She will warn me when a gate from Dwegheim opens. Once again, it's totally up to me, isn't it? Hell's maidenhead, this is too much to bear. Control your temper, child. Save your ire for the battle to come. Murthim shall use his magic against the Dwergar when they come, but he will need your aid if we are to succeed. So, let me get this straight. I have to fight against an Imperial Legion, another crazy bishop, Simul's Etin Horde, and a swarm of her Dwergar allies. The warriors of Albion call you the Giant Slayer, and declare it has been foretold you will save them. I, for one, believe them. You must attain victory, for if you do not, it will be the end of all worlds. Ragnarok will come, and even the gods will not be safe. this excitement. My stomach churns just thinking about what's happening in Albion.
The Imperium must fall. Go and do everyone a favor, my chieftain. Keep their ass. Good to see you. You need new armor. We must aid Albion. If they fall to the Empire, our doom is sure to follow. A discord rings out of the caves. Something comes. Something terrible! <laughs> 